A hot topic through several versions of the Galaxy Watch and indeed the Gear series has been their battery life. Past and present smartwatches have notoriously been inadequate for most in that sector, and whilst the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic are improvements over their former versions, they're still falling short of our expectations. So I'm here today bringing you some of the best tips and tricks to get the most out of your Galaxy Watch 4. Some of these tricks may be quite basic for some of you, so please do use the timestamps to skip to the next chapter if needs be. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to Take It Easy. I don't wanna to waste too much time today. I just wanted to say a really big thank you for helping me reach 9,000 subscribers. Very close to 10K now, and that is gonna be a huge milestone for me. So thank you so much. Do remember, if you do find yourself enjoying the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also do join our Discord server to get a little bit more involved with the community. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Right, so tip number one for improving your battery life of the Galaxy Watch 4 might not be so obvious to many of you, and that is your choice of watch face. There's many variables that would affect your battery life when it comes down to your choice of watch face. Animations are one, but another is color. Yes, brighter white, for example, watch faces will drain your battery life significantly faster. So try pick darker watch faces, the best ones being the minimal black ones. I know it's a little bit boring, but if you really need your battery life to stretch just a little bit longer, it's a really good place to start. If you need some ideas and inspiration, you can check out my watch face videos over on the channel after this video. Tip number two, LTE users, disable your LTE. Yes, a common complaint is that LTE versions overheat and use heaps more battery life. So consider whether you actually need your LTE on. If you're sat in the office or at home, for example, chances are your phone is gonna be nearby anyway. So there's literally no point having LTE enabled. You're still gonna be able to take calls and receive texts and notifications so long as your phone is nearby. So turn it off unless you're actually going to be leaving the house without your phone. Quick fire round for tip number three for those of you who don't quite know their way around the Galaxy Watch 4 yet. Swipe down from the top of the watch, select the power saving feature. This will apply some basic settings that can all be turned on or off at the push of a button, all of which, you guessed it, help save battery life. If you do go to your settings icon and select battery, there will be a page listing everything it will do to help your battery life and also give you some statistics based off your usage. Another quick tip for number four, in the same area as we spoke about earlier, the battery section of the settings page, there is a little known feature called watch only. This essentially turns everything off except from your watch phase and most importantly will give you up to 14 days of battery life. Now, many of you might think this is pointless, but when it comes down to it, and I'll keep repeating this throughout the episode, using your watch features as and when you need them is really important. This might be something to consider turning on when you've got say 10% battery left and don't want a dead watch sitting on your wrist. Tip number five is another super basic one, but one you might not have considered. You do not need to keep continuous heart rate tracking on 24 seven. I would suggest setting it to intervals at the very least and changing it to continuous when you're doing something like a workout or a walk. To change the setting, head over to the heart rate tab, scroll down to settings and change it here. Alternatively, swipe down from the top of your watch, go to settings, select Samsung health and then measurement change to your desired setting here. If you want to be super frugal with your battery life, you can always change the measurement setting to manual to save even more battery life. Number six, we're gonna talk about apps. Just like it would on a smartphone, leaving apps running will in fact drain your battery life significantly. So to close these, swipe up from the bottom of your watch face to get to your apps tray, select the grayscale icon at the top, swipe all the way to the left and then select close all. Make this a routine if you've been using various apps on your Galaxy Watch 4 as it will go a long way to helping your battery last longer. Number seven, Bixby. If it wasn't bad enough already, it can actually drain your battery. So double check your settings, swipe up from the watch face to bring up your apps tray, select Bixby and go straight to settings. Ensure voice wake up is off. If it is on, Bixby will be constantly listening out for your voice, in turn draining valuable battery life. So make sure it's turned off. 
Last but not least, in at number 8 is another quick fire round and it's 2 in 1. Swipe from the top of the watch face, select your settings icon, go to display and select auto brightness. This will help keep the screen at the brightness it needs to be. It's good practice not to have it on max brightness 24 7. You can of course turn this off and manually bring the brightness down to a lower level and keep it there if that suits you better. Additionally, in this section, this is where you will find the always on display option. Pretty self-explanatory, keeping this feature on will drain battery life faster. I know it looks better, but if you can afford to, do go ahead and turn it off. So those are my top tips for getting the most out of your Galaxy Watch 4 battery life. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to know about the Galaxy Watch 4. Also do consider joining the Discord server, there you can get answers to your questions much quicker. For now though, I've been Alex, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.